Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So far, three problems, three main problems I have completed on partnership accounts one. So in this video, the fourth problem I am going to explain. And all these problems, we are preparing the profit and loss appropriation account, current account, capital account, etc. After completing this type of accounts, we have to start the next topic that is admission of a partner and retirement of partner. So before starting the fourth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready and watch all the videos if you want the perfect knowledge on this topic, partnership accounts. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject advanced accounting new. Select the topic partnership accounts videos watch all the videos be perfect be confident on this subject Now take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain every point in detail Now see the fourth problem I am reading out <clears throat> problem number 4. A, B and C are partners sharing profits and losses in proportion to their capital in the beginning of the year. So three partners are there A, B, C. Their profit sharing ratio is the capital ratio. Whatever cap capital contributed by A, B, C in that ratio profits are shared. They are entitled annually to draw 6,000, 5,000, 4,000 respectively out of their anticipated share of profits. This is a new point. In the partnership agreement, one restriction is given regarding drawings. A partner cannot withdraw more than the limit specified. The limit specified is 6,000 for A, 5,000 for B and 4,000. They cannot withdraw more than this. Any drawings in excess of these amounts are to be regarded as advances taken from the firm and are subjected to interest at an average rate of 6% per annum. So here the condition is if a partner withdraws more than the limit then it is assumed that partner has taken a loan from the firm. The excess drawings will be treated as loan and on that loan the firm will charge interest at the rate of 6% per annum. Right? The capital says at the beginning of the year to be allowed interest at an average rate of 5% per annum. So interest on capital is 5%. Now next page continuation is there. Uh, the capital of the partners at the beginning of the year A 80,000, B 60,000, C 40,000. These are the capitals at the beginning of the year and the ratio of capital is 8 is to 6 is to 4. The profit will be shared in the ratio of 8 is to 6 is to 4. That means 8 by 18, 6 by 18, 4 by 18. The credit balances of the current accounts where the capitals are kept fixed and all the adjustments are done in current account. So current account balances are also given and all the current account balances are showing credit balance. The drawings during the year were A 10,000, B 12,000, C 5,000. They have made excess drawings. What is the limit given for drawings for A? 6,000. But he has withdrawn 10,000. So 4,000 excess drawings A has made. So that 4,000 will be treated as loan given by firm. On that 4,000, interest will be charged at the rate of 6%. Now, 12,000 is the drawing for B. So B's actually limit is 5,000, but he has withdrawn 12,000. So 12,000 minus 5,000, 7,000 excess drawing. That is a loan and interest will be charged. C, 5,000 rupees is the actual drawing, whereas limit is 4,000, 1,000 rupees excess drawings. Now, the profits for the year were 30,096 before making any adjustment for interest as above. Draw up the capital and current account of the partners. Now see, here. before preparing the capital account and current account, we need what is a distributable profit. For that, we have to make the profit and loss appropriation account. So what is the profit before making all the adjustment regarding interest? 
the profit is given 30,096 by profit and loss account 30,096. Now, interest on loan, the excess drawings is limited 6,000 only. According to agreement, A should, can withdraw only 6,000, but he has withdrawn 10,000. So, how much excess? 4,000. On that 4,000, 6% is the rate of interest. Interest will be charged by the firm to the partner. So, it's an income to the firm. That's why we are taking it on the credit side. Interest on loan from the firm. Uh, 4,000 into 6%, 240. B's limit is 5,000 only, but he has made a withdrawal of 12,000. So, 7,000 excess he has withdrawn. 7% 420. C's limit is 4,000 only, but he has withdrawn 5,000. 1,000 excess drawings on that 6%, 60. These are the incomes to the firm. Now, debit side. Interest on capital. It is given interest on capital to be charged 5% at the capital in the beginning of the year. So capital in the beginning of the year, 80,000, 60,000, 40,000, 5%, the 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. There, there is no salary to the partners. Now we need to find out the distributable profit. Take the total on the credit side, it comes to 30,816. From 30,816 minus 4,000, minus 3,000, minus 2,000, the distributable profit is 21,816. This is the profit to be shared by the partners in the profit sharing ratio. It is given the profit sharing ratio is the capital ratio. Capital ratio is 8 is to 6 is to 4. So 8 by 18. 21,816 into 8 by 18. 9696. 21,816 into 6 by 18. 7272. And 21,816 into 4 by 18. 4848. 4, 8. If you add up these three, you will get 21,816. So in this account, we have calculated interest on capital, interest on loan, and also share of profit. Now we proceed to calculate partner's current account. Three partners are there. So three columns on debit side, three columns on credit side. A, B, C. They are also A, B, C. Right on. By balance brought down 2304. The current account balances are given at the beginning of the year, all credit balance. So 2304, 3728, 1152. Now credit side, whatever they are getting, the partners are getting interest on capital and also share of profit. So interest on capital 4000, 3000, 2000, already we have calculated 432. And they are getting the share of profit, share of profit 9696, 7272, 4848. So 9696 727248. Now drawings and interest on loan that will be taken on the debit side. Because the partner have to pay to the firm. So drawings are 10,000, 12,000, 5,000. And the interest on loan that is excess of drawings already we have calculated here 240, 420, 60. So 240, 420, 60. That's all. Now simply we have to find out the balancing figure. What is the current account balance at the end of the year? Take the total credit side, these three total 16,000. From 16,000 minus 10,000 minus 240, you will get 5,760 as the closing current account balance of partner A. Similarly, for B partner, take the total on the credit side 14,000. From 14,000 minus 12,000 minus 420, 1580 is the closing current account balance of partner B. Similarly, C, total on the credit side, 8,000. 8,000 minus 5,000 minus 60, you'll get 2,940. Closing current account balance of C. This is a carry down balance. Now, brought down balance will be taken on the credit side. So, this is carried down, this is brought down. Same balances I have taken here. This is the end of current account. Now, capital accounts are remaining fixed. The partners are maintaining fixed capital method where all adjustments we have done in current account. Simply take the balance. At the beginning of the year, the balance are 80,000, 60,000, 40,000. Same balance you take it on the debit side to balance carried down 80, 60, 40 and brought down balance 80, 60, 40. That means the beginning of the year and end of the year, the balance in capital account will remain same. That's it. 
So this is the end of problem number four. So inshallah, we'll continue the next problem, problem number five in the next video.